there my beautiful Virgos and welcome to your October mid-month love tarot reading with me Miss Machiste. Virgo we are looking into your love life and what will be coming your way next in terms of love for the second half of October. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and do not forget to check your other chart placements on my channel. Stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac sign's feelings for you. So Spirit, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the second half of October in their love lives for Virgo. What's going on for my beautiful Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? All right, Virgo, remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. So first card out, Virgo, we have Seek. This is the Hermit, Virgo energy. We also have Reach Out. This is the Three of Pentacles, Earth energy. We have Manifest. This is the Magician, Gemini energy. We have Love. This is the Lover's which is more Gemini energy. We have Just Breathe. This is the Four of Swords, air sign energy. And we have Embrace. All right, this is the world. Fixed sign energy. All right, so single Virgos. I feel like you are going to be reconnecting or connecting to somebody here. Um, if it's somebody wanting to reconnect with you, I don't really feel like you're interested. I feel like you may be more interested in newer energy. So for some of you, that may occur. But I definitely do see somebody wanting to connect to you here. Somebody wanting to be in your energy at first, you don't really look that interested, but for some of you, you may decide to see what it's all about. But single Virgos, there's definitely a soulmate connection that is coming into your life here. But if you're single, I'm not really sure how focused you are on love right now. You look a lot more focused on your work, your finances, your security, and leveling up in life in that sort of aspect. So when I clarify, I'll see what you do with this person's energy, but it does look like somebody wants to connect to you here. For others of you Virgos, if you are in a relationship, I definitely do feel like you and your person are getting on the same page with one another, really feeling connected, really feeling like the possibilities are endless for this connection. So in the past, there may have been a bit of challenge between the two of you because we do have the four of swords and we also have the hermit so this is showing that this connection needed a sense of healing so for a lot of you virgos you and your person are finally healing from the past the world is here finally closing out that cycle and reconnecting and working together on a totally new level of love so i definitely feel virgos in relationships the strongest for others of you Virgos, if you are single, somebody does want to connect to you. You just don't look like you're coming out of the hermit too heavily for this person. So let's clarify. For my beautiful Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo in terms of love for the second half of October. All right, so on the Hermit, we have the Devil. On the Three of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles. On the Magician, we have the Seven of Cups. On the Lovers, we have the Page of Wands. On the Four of Swords, we have the Ten of Cups. And on the World, we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely closing out a past cycle here. So if you are in a relationship... I really do feel like you two were very heavily stuck in the past in toxic energy. And that's what you two are finally healing. Finally re-sparking the spark in this connection as well as 
growing this stability between the two of you. So I definitely feel like for a very long time, Virgo, you and this person were finding it very hard to get on the same page. I feel like there is a lot of confusion here with the Seven of Cups. Like, where is this headed? Can we get on the same page? Is this relationship going to strive forward? Can we really heal the past and find this Ten of Cups happiness with one another? It looks like you're going to be pretty surprised at the fact that this connection can strive forward and you two really can heal the past. Somebody may have to heal specifically an addiction or something that caused this relationship to be toxic with the hermit to the devil. Whether it's you or them, it may be both of you needing to release a sense of fear, doubt, or addiction towards something. But I definitely do feel like for a lot of you Virgos in relationships, closing out very large energies from the past and striving forward towards working together in a sense of stability towards this relationship growing building and having that happy like energy i feel like the happiness in this connection was here one day and then gone the next and i feel like now you two are finally going to have that energy of all right we're happy and we're gonna try to stay happy because this is the stable energy that we want for one another so in relationships Definitely striving forward. I definitely see you two giving each other a lot more support, a lot more caring energy, and really realizing like you are the person I have a very strong connection with. You are the person I love. You are the person I care for. You are the person that I'm willing to change and heal for. So I like it if you're in a relationship, definitely closing out difficult past lessons and striving forward towards stable happiness that's what I feel not flighty happiness where all right, I don't know if we're gonna be that good for the rest of the day or whatever the case may be it's like you two feel that stable sense of happiness with one another <clears throat> and single Virgos you look very focused on work focused on family focused on just the materialistic growth of things um, some of you Virgos, I feel like you look at love as bringing toxicity to your life. So I feel like that may be why you're not very interested in being with someone right this moment. But there is somebody interested in you, single Virgo, if you want it. But I feel like most of you are still striving towards some sort of feeling within yourself. So then you can feel confident or feel like you want to go towards love. But nonetheless, you do have offers here coming in. I do feel like my Virgos who are very focused on work, it does look like whatever laser focus you've been having is going to reap rewards for you. So that may be where your position is at right now, where you're working towards a very specific goal with your finances and security, and you don't want to be knocked off that goal. So that may be why you're not necessarily too focused on love right now. But if you want it, it's here. So I have Capricorn energy. I have strong Gemini. And I have you Virgo. So let's get your Oracle. And then we will get each Zodiac signs feelings for you Virgo. So here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in terms of love for this second half of October for Virgo. For this second half of October for Virgo in their love lives for Virgo. What's going on for my beautiful Virgos? Keep in mind, for some of you, this may resonate backwards. This could be your energy towards Virgo. So here we go. We have understanding. We have new direction. And we have awakening. Yeah, so definitely spot on for in relationships. Really understanding that the only way we can have movement forward is if we really move in a new direction. So I really do feel like you both are awakening to that and really understanding that that's going to bring that stable, happy, successful connection. Some of you, you're finally awakening to maybe moving in a new direction with new love. 
Um, but you're still in a position of doing whatever you want to do here, single Virgos. Let's clarify this spirit for Virgo. On understanding, we have abandoned. Wow. New direction with inner child and awakening with release. Yeah, so single Virgos, I really do feel like you're coming to the understanding of why everything occurred in your life, in your love life specifically. It does look like your inner child is reaping a sense of satisfaction with whatever person is coming your way or whatever person wants you to um, be interested in them or be pursued by you. And for others of you, Virgos, you're coming to the understanding that you'd rather move in a new direction with this lover than lose them. Or they're coming to that understanding that they'd rather move in a new direction with you than lose you. So let's clarify this here, Virgo. Abandon with tribe. So your spiritual support system is definitely here for you. Inner child with divine masculine and release with divine timing. Yeah, so spirit is definitely all over this here for you, Virgo. Specifically, the divine masculine is shifting their inner child. So whether that's you or them, could be both of you in terms of, you know, sometimes two people bring both masculine energy to a connection. But I do feel like whoever the divine masculine is here has been maybe the one that needs to work through that toxicity energy. But it does look like there is an extreme sense of satisfaction towards movement forward. Like I said, this person rather move in a new direction than lose you. So, let's see what we got going on here. Spirit for Virgo, all the way from Aries to Pisces. I need each zodiac signs. Feelings towards Virgo. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Here we go. Aries feelings for you are the hermit. So Aries feels like very disconnected from your energy. Your Aries may be in hermit mode or they feel like you are in hermit mode. Um, there could be a disconnect between the two of you physically, energetically, or your Aries is just healing right now. Taurus feelings for you are the world. So Taurus does feel like things are over and done with. For some of you, a Taurus may want to have a totally new beginning and close out the past. Next is Gemini's feelings for you as the Six of Wands. So Gemini's feeling really good about this connection. They feel seen, wanted, and appreciated by you, as well as wanting to give you that energy. Cancer's feelings for you are the Ten of Swords. So Cancer may feel like things are over and done with between the two of you, whether you ended things or they ended things. There's definitely an ending here. Leo's feelings for you are the Seven of Cups. So Leo is feeling a bit confused over this connection. They may be feeling very confused on where they stand with you, or they may be making, or they may be making you feel like an option if Leo is causing you confusion, or Leo feels like an option to you, just because they don't necessarily know where they stand with you right now. Virgo's feelings for you. Virgo are the Knight of Cups. So Virgo is definitely interested in pursuing you. They feel an emotional connection to you and they want to see where it goes. Libra's feelings for you are the Ace of Pentacles. So an offer coming from a Libra. They want to grow with you. They want to have a sense of stability with you. They want to get together with you in the physical. We have... Scorpio's feelings for you as the king of swords. So Scorpio either feels like you cut them off and are acting very detached from them or you may have recently or have gotten cut off by a Scorpio and they are standing their ground. Sagittarius feelings for you are the sun. So Sagittarius has clarity on where they stand with you. Um, they may be very clear minded that they stand in a certain position with you. For others of you, Sagittarius finds a very large sense of happiness with you, Virgo. Capricorn's feelings for you, Virgo, are justice. So Capricorn wants to make things right here with you. If Capricorn did something wrong to you, they definitely want to right their wrongs. For others of you, a Capricorn or you have made a final decision about this connection. Aquarius' feelings for you is the Ace of Swords. So new communication coming from an Aquarius. Aquarius wants to feel very good, very conversating with you. Um, very clear with you. So it does look like Aquarius is really striving for, towards victory in this connection. Communication, happiness, and just having a clear mind. Definitely conversation with Aquarius or new communication with Aquarius. 
And Pisces feelings for you, Virgo, are the Ten of Pentacles. So Pisces views you as somebody that is very stable in their life, somebody that they could be very committed to. So if you're not committed to a Pisces, definitely could be moving towards a very high level of commitment with Pisces, if not marriage. So let's make sure everyone's out, Virgo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, Virgo. Thank you for being here and for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your month of October, and I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.